On today's Tech Talk, we're going to talk about all those components that mount in the rear end of your Mustang and help you put that horsepower to the ground. Now, while we are going to discuss ring and pinion, the main focus of this Tech Talk is going to be the differential. You know, what is a differential? How do they work? What are the different styles of differential? And the final thing is which one's going to be best for your Mustang. Now, before we get too far into the differentials, let's start off by talking about the ring and pinion, which are the gears in the back of your Mustang and a very, very common modification on Mustangs that make them quicker or again, lower them for high horsepower applications. But your ring and pinion, basically the ring is going to mount to the differential. The pinion is going to mount here and connect to your drive shaft. And these gears will spin the differential, which is going to spin the axles and ultimately spin your wheels and put the power to the ground. Now, when it comes to ring and pinion, they're all ratios. So what is that ratio? The ratio is basically going to be how fast the wheels are going to spin compared to the drive shaft. Your 308, 373, 410, 456, they're all going to be ratios. So how do you find that ratio out? Well, a lot of the gears, those are going to be written right on the end. So if you buy new gears, you know, these are 308s. The 308 is written right on the end. But if you don't know what ratio the gears are, there's math you can do. What you're going to do, take how many teeth are on the ring divided by how many teeth are on the pinion. So if you have 41 teeth on the ring, 10 on the pinion, you do 41 divided by 10, and that's going to be a 4-10 gear ratio. All right, now, so if the ring and pinion is installed in the car and you want to figure out what you have without taking it apart, also very easy to do. What you're going to do is jack up the back of your Mustang and you want to turn the wheel one full 360 degree rotation. When you do that, somebody counts how many times your drive shaft spins. So if one rotation of your wheel spins your drive shaft 3.73 times, you have 373 gears. So what exactly does a differential do? Well, as we showed you, the differential is going to mount the rear end housing of your Mustang. Your ring gear will bolt here, your pinion gear bolts in the front, which connects to your drive shaft, and that's going to spin the differential. Axles will connect on both sides here, and that puts power out to the ground. Now, how exactly do they work? Well, it depends on the differential, there's different styles. But mainly, there are going to be gears inside of here that again connect to the axles and are going to spin it. Now, there's going to be different style gears, different clutch assemblies, depending on the different style differentials, and we'll get to that in a second. The most basic differential you're going to find is the open diff, usually found in classic Mustangs. Now, the open differential is going to put torque 50-50 to both rear tires, but if you're turning, it'll allow you to turn free without any issues. The drawback to the open differential, though, is it's going to put more torque to the tire with the least amount of traction. So if one tire starts spinning or one tire is in the mud or ice or whatever, that tire will get more torque and start spinning, and the other one won't move at all. So again, for normal driving, this will actually work fine, but if traction becomes an issue, the open diff can actually be a bad thing to have. The next differential we're going to discuss is the most common one used for performance applications, and that is going to be your limited slip differential. Now, we're going to focus on the traction lock and the torque sensing. Now, the traction lock shown here has been a factory differential in the Mustang since the mid 80s and still used in today's Mustangs. Now, the traction lock is basically going to use a clutch assembly to put power to the ground. And the benefit of that is the clutches are going to be basically installed on both sides here. So, when you're going into a corner, these clutches will disengage, allowing the wheels to spin at different speeds for cornering, which is excellent for autocross, road racing, but also your normal driving you go around a corner. Now, again, when you get into a straight line and you put the power down, these clutches engage and power is going to go through both wheels, which gives you a lot more traction in a straight line. Now, here you can see the clutch plates in this limited slip differential. Now, one of the benefits of the track lock assembly is that they're serviceable. If those clutches wear out and the car starts doing one wheel burnouts or whatever, this can be taken apart. Those clutches can be replaced with OE parts or even upgraded to the carbon fiber ones, which were factory on the 03 and 04 Cobras. The next style of limited slip differential we're going to talk about is going to be torque sensing. And the most common one is the Torsen, which literally got its name from torque sensing. Now, the Torsen is going to be factory on your Boss Mustangs. It's also factory on your 15 and up that have the Performance Pack 1 or 2 option. Now, torque sensing work a little bit different. Like your limited slip differential here from the traction lock is going to use clutches to put the power down. Torsen uses a warm gear setup. The benefit of a Torsen is it is torque sensing. So if it doesn't sense torque, if you're in a corner or whatever, it's going to operate like an open differential. But as soon as you get torque down, it's going to put torque to the wheel with the most traction. So while your open differential puts power down to the tire that has the least traction, the Torsen does the exact opposite using the gear assembly 
and it puts power down to the tire that has traction, making it very popular for those who like to race in corners. There's also a torque bias ratio with this. The T2R that comes in the Mustang has a torque bias ratio of four to one. That means it has the ability to put four times the torque to the wheel getting the most traction. Makes it excellent for not only handling, but also for a straight line. The next differential we're gonna discuss is the locker. The lockers have been around since the 60s. I mean, back then, if you had a locker, you had a serious street car, but they're also very common in the off-road world. Now, the locker is gonna get rid of the clutch assembly and all the stuff you see in these traction locker rears. It's gonna replace it with a spider gear and a driven gear. And the way the locker works, when you're going in a straight line, those gears are gonna to lock together, put power down to both tires evenly, which is excellent for traction, excellent for your quarter mile race car. On the street, it's usable because those gears can disengage in corners so you can go around a corner. The problem with a locker is because of the way the gears engage, when you go around a corner, it's gonna unlock and that unlock can be kind of on the violent side. You'll feel it. If you have a locker, as soon as it disengages, you're gonna get like that clunk out of the rear end. So not the best for a street car, but again, if you want something that you can use on the street and will take a boatload of power and work at the track, the locker is a solid option. The final difference we're going to discuss is the spool. Now the spool is purpose built and mainly for your drag racers. And the spool gets rid of all of this. No clutches, no warm gears, no spider gears. The spool has both axles connected together and basically connects it right to the ring and pinion via the drive shaft and puts power down to both tires all the time. Now when you're trying to corner with a spool, the one wheel is going to move the same speed as the other wheel all the time. So it's going to chirp, and it's gonna tear up your tire. So while spools can be driven on the street, they're really best used for the drag strip. So which differential is right for your Mustang? And honestly, it depends how you use it. Now, if you're a classic Mustang enthusiast with a Sunday driver, that stock open differential would probably be fine, but a traction lock upgrade will give you better traction and make the car a lot more safer and fun to drive. Now, as far as the modern Mustangs, since 1986, they've had a traction lock from the factory, which will work for most users. Again, that traction lock can also be upgraded with better clutches if you're looking to put more power down. As far as the Torsen goes, you know, that's factory on your boss and your performance pack, and that is an excellent differential if you're looking to build a road course or autocross car. Now, as far as the locker and spool go, they're definitely geared towards the off-road and drag racing crowd, not always the best street one, but if you're looking for something to put up with a lot of abuse, those are gonna be the way to go. Whichever rig you decide you need for your Mustang, we have them available here at cjponyparts.com.